Hey guys, so um, I'm going to do right now an overview of Benefit Cosmetics. I have several of their products um, and I'm getting more and more into the brand. Um, I guess I'm just going to jump right in. I'll tell you my most favorite product from Benefit and this is not going to come as a surprise. It's the Benefit U Rebel and this you can see has been quite used. This is their tinted moisturizer. They have this one and then they have... Um, this is actually the darker one, and then they have, like, phone ring. Um, anyway, this they have a lighter version of it. Um, it's in, like, a more beige yellow tube, and I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit on my hand so you guys can just get a good idea. I love this tinted moisturizer. I've been using it for over a year now. Um, I've had this for over a year. This stuff lasts forever. Granted, I don't wear this every day. I use this a lot in the summertime, um, or even in the winter, like, if I don't want to put a lot of fat... Um, makeup on my face, especially on the weekends. I'll just put this on. It gives very good coverage. This is what the color looks like. And you could just see it just blends in really nicely. It leaves behind a very, very dewy finish. I love the smell of it. Don't ask me what it smells like. I just, I just love the smell of it. Um, so it, it has amazing staying power. Like I use it in the morning before work and it's still on my face by the time I'm home from work at five, six o'clock. Um, a very, very smooth finish. You can set it with powder if you wanted to. It does give good coverage. Not so much like amazing, like, you know, a full coverage foundation would, but I have like little blemishes and scarring and it covers that right up. I just love it. It's not really thick. It's not too thin. It's not watery. Um, but it's not like a thick foundation. When you have it on your face, it doesn't feel like you have a lot on at all. Um, it's just a very, like, like, very, very light feeling, um, on your face, which is, what I love about it um, and part of the reason I don't wear liquid foundation is because I feel like it just feels really really heavy on your face okay so that is their tinted moisturizer then I just recently started using some kind of gorgeous which is their um, fake it's called fake it foundation it looks like this and you get a little sponge underneath one of these little guys um, you can apply this with a sponge with your fingers with a foundation brush. I use both, all three of them, I use them all. Um, I'm still getting through my sample. You can see it. I don't have too much left, but I'll just, again, show you. It's a cream to powder. So, as soon as you rub it in, it feels like you have powder on, like Studio Fix powder. Very, very satin, very, very, um silky feeling powder. Again, not full coverage, but enough coverage that it totally makes your face look flawless, airbrushed. I absolutely love this product. I love it even more than Max Moisture Blend. Um, it's a lot thinner than Max Moisture Blend, and it just gives you like a nice, even finish to your skin. I wouldn't use it if you have a lot of scarring and acne and blemishes to cover up, because like I said, it doesn't cover that completely. Um, but to just give you like an even foundation to start on, um, I really, really love it a lot. Um, so then there's their primer, which is called That Gal. It looks like a glue stick. And it looks like this. And you just twist up the bottom. I haven't used this one yet because I'm still getting through my sample of it. This is kind of like a different primer. It's, it's pink, like a light pink. Um... And you can actually, I mean, most primers you would use this underneath your makeup, but you can actually put it on top. And it gives like a nice dewy iridescence. And I have used it both underneath and on top. And um, I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer or both, but my makeup stays put all day. And I again, I don't know if, if it's this or this or both or what, but amazing when I use them together. It blends right into your skin. It doesn't give that like slippery feel like Max Prep and Prime does when you put it on. It just gives a really nice, like, silky finish. I can't explain it. It's different than the majority of primers I've used, um, and I, I really love it. It's a really unique product, and like I said, sometimes I'll even just put it on my cheekbones to highlight or give, like, a, not shiny, but, like, a dewy finish, and love it. So that's that. Then they have Erase Paste. This is their concealer. I'm not the biggest fan of Erase Paste. I don't really like the consistency. I don't think it's an amazing product like everyone else thinks that it is. Um, I'm just, I love my MAC Studio Fix and Studio, our Studio Finish and Studio Sculpt so much that I, maybe I'm just biased, but um, 
it's a very, very thick, I don't know if you can see, very, very, very thick um, concealer. Like you really have to blend it in nicely to your skin, whereas Max just blends right in. Um, uh, and I, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan. It's very thick, I'm not used to it. I like to just put Max Studio Fix right underneath on my red spot. It blends right in, it absorbs right into my skin. I don't have to really work with it too much. Also, the other downfall with um, Erase Paste is they don't have a very m large selection of color shades. So if you don't match one of their shades, you're kind of crap out of luck. Um, this is number three, which is a little bit too dark for me. It's actually my mom's. Um, I got a sample. I hated it. She loves this, loves this stuff. I know some people love this, but then there's me. Not really a big fan. Forgot to mention with this, this one only comes in this color and a little bit darker. I got the lighter color, the darker ones for obviously darker skin tones, but this is kind of like a one size fits all for foundation. Um, so yeah, I wanted to just mention that. This is one of my favorite products from Benefit. It's their Benefit Powder Flage. This little, little pink ball. And it's like a pink iridescent powder. And I just use my Bodyography brush. Looks very much like a 224. And I just get it in there. And this goes right overneath, over top your foundation to kind of set it and brighten up that under eye area. I wear this over top concealer and over top... Um, eye bright, which I'm also going to talk about, and sometimes I'll just put it on by itself if I just want a little pick-me-up if I have some dark circles or I didn't get enough sleep the night before. I just kind of dust it on and it just brightens up your under eye. I really like it. Um, sad news though. I'll get to that later. Then there is the, F, the Benefit Eye Bright, which is their pencil. And it's this pink pencil. Looks like that. And what you use this for, you can use it for a couple of things. You can use it to highlight underneath your brow bone, which is what I've done today. And you kind of just blend it in. You could use it to brighten up right here. If you have like smile lines and you just want like more brighter effect. What I use this for is before I put my concealer on, I have some like veining and some blue lines. And this covers up the blue lines. So I'll draw this like, I'll just do it again. I'll draw this like overneath those blue lines on both sides. And then I kind of just blend it in with my finger. I don't rub it back and forth because that'll kind of like wipe the product away and you don't want to do that. Um, so I just kind of smush it in with my fingers really well. And then I just take the Benefit Powder Flush and dust it right over it to set it. That is what I did today. I, I used no concealer today. I just put a little bit of the eye bright on those blue lines and set it with the... Um, powder flush. It made my under eyes so bright. You're probably not going to be able to pick it up on camera too well, but it brightened up my under eyes so much so that it was almost too bright. When I put on my powder foundation today, I was like, whoa, like it just looks so bright underneath my eyes, which is what you want because normally you have dark circles, fine lines, some blue veining, and you want that to look really bright and your eyes to look really awake, but it almost made it too bright. So I don't know if I would do this and this without putting a concealer in between. Um, I think that would make it not as shockingly bright, but amazing product. Um, you can highlight down your nose, anywhere you would highlight your cheekbones, again, underneath your brow bone. Um, if you wanted to throughout the day, if you notice that you're kind of getting dark again, you can just put this right over top, and it's like instant brightness, instant gratification. I love this product, um, and it's the Benefit Eye Bright. Okay, I'm going to talk about their creaseless cream creaseless cream shadow liners. They look like this in a glass jar. This color is in skinny jeans and these are very much like Max paint pots. They are used either as a base or a shadow, a cream shadow, or an eyeliner. Um, I've used these for all three and I really love it. The first time I used skinny jeans or this this product, it did crease on me. I used it as a base. I put shadow over it and by like five o'clock it was creasing right up here. So um, I learned that I had to put down another base. So I used Painterly Paint Pot underneath this. So you can put this down as a base for a color, but I wouldn't use this. I wouldn't say it's the best um, non-creasing base out there. Um, but you, when you put this on, you just want to make sure that it's really, really blended and um, that way it, it won't crease as much. Um, but definitely I'd recommend putting some kind of base underneath this just because it, it probably will crease on you. Um, these come in a wide range of colors. 
This is kind of like a pewter gray. I'll just show you. Um, pigmentation's awesome. They have a lot of different colors. They have a color that's kind of like Max Artifact Paint Pots, like a cranberry maroon. They have a lot of champagne shimmers, a lot of like light pinks. Um, I think they might even have a black one. And yeah, so I, I do like this product. As, I'd use it more as a base than I would a liner, but it works just the same um, if you want to use it as a liner. Okay, I'm kind of jumping around and I apologize. Then there's Benefit High Beam, which is their infamous highlighter. And um, I absolutely love this product. This is one becoming one of my Holy Grail products. It is very, very silky, very thin consistency, but it just leaves behind the prettiest shimmer. And I don't know if you can see that, but it just, I use it a ton right on my cheek, on my um, cheekbones, down my nose, underneath my eyebrow, my cupid's bow. I love it. It doesn't make you look like a glitter ball. It doesn't make you look totally like oily, shiny. It just gives a nice iridescence to your face, and I absolutely love it. I wasn't, I didn't buy it at first for a long time because I thought, I have so many highlighters, do I really need an extra highlighter? And yes, I do need a full size of this when this runs out because it's amazing. Then they have Posy Tint, which is their little, like, liquid blush, I'll call it. And it's a very, very bright, bright bubblegum pink. Looks like that. It's actually looking a lot more pink on camera than it does in person. But um, you would just dab this on your finger, dab the brush on your finger, or dab it on your face and just blend it in. And it gives, like, a really nice pink flush to your cheeks. Now you can see what happened here. I smeared it around and see this part right here. Because I didn't rub it in quick enough, it just dried there. So that is one negative that I see with this product. Um, I've done it a couple times on my cheeks. We're all like dot, 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 and dot, dot, dot on this side. And by the time I come back over to blend, it's already dried into my cheek. And there's really no way to like smear it away. So I have to go back in and like dab in between where it dried up to make it all look even. Um, so... To avoid that, I would definitely just dot it and rub it in right away and then go to the other side um, because it, it, as soon as it dries, it, it sinks right in, which is a good thing because it'll stay on your face all day. It's very long lasting, but you just have to work with it very quickly because it does dry fast, but it's a really pretty color. I'm sure it would probably look different on everyone depending on your natural skin tone and, and your cheek coloring, um, so you might want to test it in the store before you actually buy it. Sticking with blushes, they are famous for their box blushes. They um, always come with one of these brushes, which I really don't ever use, but it's a nice brush. It's pretty soft, and you can just put the color on with it. This is Coralista. This is my one of my favorite blushes, aside from not benefit blushes, like one of my favorite blushes of all time. They smell so good, like, like a rosy. But their blushes are incredibly, incredibly soft. Very, very pigmented. Um, you can see that. This is my go-to color in the summer. However, I have been wearing it a lot in the winter, too, because it's just such a nice, pretty color. Um, absolutely love the packaging on these. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but I think they're worth it. I just love it. Then there's Dallas Blush, which looks like this. It's almost like a cross between a bronzer and, like, a plum blush. So I really like it. It's actually what I have on right now. Um, you can use it to contour if you wanted to. I use it more so as just a blush. But I really like the color. It's unique. I don't have any MAC colors like this, and I really like it. They have a ton of other blush colors, um, and they also have a, a bronzer called Hula that I never really wanted to try because it's very matte, and it's very dark. Um, I mean, you have to blend it out and work it into your skin the right way, but I just have, I love NARS Laguna. I love my... Tarts Park Avenue Princess, so I just never lean towards Benefit's um, bronzer. But I love this blush, especially for fall winter. It's like a really pretty purpley mauve and looks really great on a lot of skin tones. Um, so that's that. You'll never find their blushes in like a, a typical compact or something like that. They're always in boxes. You get a ton of product. Um, s some may say a negative is like that your maybe your brushes can't fit inside. But I mean, I don't think I have any brushes that would probably be too big. They all pretty much fit inside. 
So that's that. And the last things I'm going to talk about are their lipsticks. These are their um, Silky Finish, I think they're called. This color I got as a sample. It's Ladies' Choice. It looks like this. And I swatched it before earlier, but I'll swatch it again. It's right here. It's a very pretty nude. And actually, I love their um, lipsticks. The finishes on them remind me a lot of Max Lester lip gloss lipsticks, which are my favorite because you don't need to wear gloss over them. They're shiny. They kind of look a little bit glossy, so they're just kind of you wear it by themselves and it's perfectly fine. You don't need to put anything over top of it, which is what I love. The consistency is incredibly smooth. It just glides on your lips like butter. They have a good range of colors. Um, this one is Bouquet Dive, and it's like out. That's as far as a bit up as it goes. Um, it's more of a coppery brown. I don't know if you can see that. But their lipsticks, I'm very impressed with. I love them. So that is all the products. Oh no, I missed two. Their mascara. They have Bad Gal mascara. I don't own the black one. I had it a long time ago and I hated it because the brush was really thick. I didn't I just didn't, I didn't love it. But then I wanted to try the blue one because it came in a set that I had gotten. And I'll just show you the color blue that it is. It is a really pretty, like, um, royal, royal, royal blue. Absolutely love it. I usually don't put this on when I wear it. I don't use it, like, as my main mascara. I use black, and then I'll just put the tips and underneath. I'll, like, go over top of it as the blue. So just that's highlighted. And I also got the little sample in Plum, which is their purple, which is what I have on today. You really can't tell. Focus, focus. And I don't even think you can see that. But um, it's kind of more like a maroon. I wouldn't say that it's a purple. But again, the thing that I don't really care for too much is their brush it is huge, at least what... It's bigger than what I'm used to. I like the smaller brushes because you can get in between and underneath. This is kind of hard to do your underneath lashes because you'll hit your your under eye a lot of times because the brush is so big. It is good for over top. Um, but I don't think the formula is anything spectacular. Their mascara is just okay for me. It's not like a holy grail or like a must-have benefit item. So those are all of the products that I own. I hope that this helped you give some kind of insight into the brand, into their products, and to give you ideas of maybe what you'd want to try. Um, the one thing that I absolutely love about this company is their image and their packaging is always so cute and so unique. Everything you get is so different. All their blushes look different. Um, I mean, their mascaras are like the color of the tube, you know. I just, like, who comes up with this glue stick idea? And, like, this, some kind of gorgeous, is like a an old um, disc. What do you call those things? St um, stereo, radio, you know, that your parents used to listen to. You put it on the thing and you put the, I don't know what it's called. Records. Records. That's what I wanted to say. The record, like, packaging. Um, their Benefit High Beam and Cozy Tint, these are just samples, but the actual products come in like nail polish bottles and the caps like a nail polish brush and you just paint it on and I love that. Love it, love it. So, love that. Okay, bad news about this company. They discontinue stuff, I feel like, quite often for a makeup brand, more often than most brands discontinue. Um, like I know MAC every now and then discontinues, but I feel like it's a good amount of time. But Benefit, I feel like it's like, I don't know if they're always just getting new products in or, you know, replenishing things. But I feel like every time I turn around, they're discontinuing something. They discontinued their FYI primer. But now I found out that they're discontinuing some kind of gorgeous and powder flash. What the heck? I'm so mad. I've never seen another. I mean, okay, this I'm upset about. But, like, I can find a replacement foundation slash cream, whatever. I like my Max Moisture Blend. I have enough backup of that. This, I can replace. This, I, like, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know of any other companies or products like this. So if you guys do, please let me know. But in the meantime, this is on sale on Benefit's website. It's discounted. This isn't. Um, so stock up, or at least give these a try. This will last you a pretty long time. Um, I'm going to probably buy, like, two backups of this just to have, because they will last you a really long time. But what the heck, Benefit? And... 
they're not going to be like replacing it. A lot of times they'll replace, a, they'll discontinue a product and then reformulate it and re-release it. But last I heard, they are not planning to reformulate or repackage or anything with these two. Like they are going away. So if you're interested, go get your hands on these and get get enough backups. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that this you will go through pretty quickly because it's so creamy. It does use up. And honestly, I haven't been using this every day because I switch out my, my powder, my tinted moisturizer. I've used this maybe three times and look it's almost like gone already so it because it's so creamy you go through a little bit more of it so that's kind of a bummer but other than that I love this brand it is a little bit on the pricey side but for the packaging alone I freaking love it. so yeah price isn't it's not incredibly crazy it's probably not very much more than what you're already spending on higher brand cosmetics so I hope that this helped you guys um, in some way or another and if you have any other questions let me know um, if I come across any other products between now and the future and from Benefit that I really like, I'll definitely do a review and let you guys know in some form or another via Twitter, via blog, via YouTube, I don't know. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.